it's a different yes. Thank you. We are having the following now. Uh, we're having the following. I want us to start from here. Uh, these ones, these are just definitions. You already know them, <laughs> but I'll, pay, I'll pass comments on them. Let's just, let's start from the, the, the this one. Describe normative and positive statements and which of the following below are normative and positive what statements, right? So in economics, I said we have what we call positive statements and normative uh, statements. We said that positive statements, what are positive statements? These, they deal with it, saying the things the way how things are, okay? Saying the way how things are. So in short, it deals with the reality. It deals with the reality, the truth how that's the things are. And again, you find that these statements, they can be tested. These are positive statements. They can be tested using what? What do you use when testing? You can use scientific, scientific methods. As long as you can test the validity of the statement using a scientific methods, then that is called positive what? Uh, economics, so that's a positive statement. You're right. The statements are always objective. They're not subjective. They are objective for positive. For normative, we say that, or we are saying these statements, they say how things should be, how they should be, not how they actually are. And it's the opposite. These statements cannot be what cannot be tested. You can't test the validity of the statements using scientific uh, um, methods. And these statements are always subjective instead of being objective. So this is just some of the brief explanation about the positive and the normative what, statements. We have described them. Now, we want to ascertain what which of these statements are what? Are positive and the, which of them are normative? That's our question. Hello, sir. Yes, madam. Sorry, I was not getting you. I was just seeing you writing some things. I think my network. Sorry, just go back a bit. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, okay, thank you. I said that I can get you now. Uh, uh. positive statements. This they deal with the saying the way how things are. In short, they deal with the reality. They can be tested using the scientific methods. Uh, scientific methods. You can test the validity of the statements using scientific methods. And these statements are always the objectives. They are objective. But for normative statements, they say the how things they should be, how the things should be. Not how they are, no, how they should be. In short, they are based on human opinion. Okay, they cannot be tested. And they are subjective. They are subjective. So this is, sometimes the question can be asked to differentiate between positive and normative. Yeah, economics. So I've, I've given you the highlight of described what they are, all of them. So now, most of the times how the questions are asked is just like this, which of the following statements are normative and the, which are positive? You are given a list of the statements, then you are to say which one is positive, which one is what, which one is, is negative. Sometimes you are asked the true or false questions around this, 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 this concept of positive and normative. True or false, is this statement positive or, yeah, just like that. They are just that, yeah. Are you fine now, the questionnaire? Yeah. Yes, sir, thank you so much. Okay. The current Zambian Minister of Health is Sylvia Masevo. Is that true or false? Uh, not true or false. Is that statement positive or normative? Anyone can still answer? Positive. 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 
the statement is positive because that's how that's the truth. Inflation in Malawi is high. Inflation in Malawi is high. Is that positive? True? It's a positive statement, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> you can test the validity of the statement. The minimum wage should be two thousand. Is the statement no, positive team. or not? No, yeah, those are human opinions. You guys have already passed my and congratulations. <laughs> uh, tertiary education should be free. No, no, Government provided health care increases public health expenditure or public expenditure. Positive. positive. It's a positive statement, right? Yes. Maybe just to highlight on this one, uh, what is happening is that um, the government expenditure, why GDP, the GDP is given, has the following equation. Or those who will be with me next year, or who will be studying with us, doing tuitions with us next year, um, if you continue studying with us, we will deal with macro, we'll do macro. As we'll be doing macro, we'll talk about these things in a broader sense. Yeah, but from the equation from the gross domestic product, you are given this equation. This one, C, is the consumption. It's called consumption, general consumption. This is investments, general investment, uh, investment from the private sector and from the public. Then G is the government expenditure, okay? That is the government expenditure. So if you see that the government provided health care, if it's the government which is spending, then that should increase the, the public expenditure, which is the government expenditure. It's just the, the truth. Clear? Okay. Yes, sir. Raising tax on beer will have a negative effect on the profits of the brewers. Is that true or for oh, Is that positive or normative? And we want a, a justification. Because sometimes the way how the questions are asked, you can say you can be asked to justify, justify your answer. Yes, justify. Anyone? Why do you say so? Because increasing taxes will increase the cost of production, which will ideally reduce their profit. Okay, interesting. And other uh there'll be less production as well, just like Mr. Kanika said, when the cost of production is high, meaning the quantities that are being produced are going to be less. Okay. Then that will affect the profits, right? Yes. Uh -huh. The GDP per capita for country XE is three hundred thousand for twenty twenty. Is that Positive or normative? Normative. Do we even know what GDP per capita is? <laughs> Just know it's global something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gross domestic. Uh, gross oh, domestic. Gross domestic product. I think it's uh, gross domestic pay. It means per person. 